Hi, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So this video was requested on my Instagram and they asked me to talk about how to wake up earlier and how to sleep earlier. And this is something that I have struggled with. <laughs> for years, for absolute years, and I finally now come to find my own flow of like, what's it called, your body clock and your like circadian rhythm and everything. And I wanna share my perspective on this because it's something that I went back and forth with for a long, long time. And I would watch a lot of morning routines and evening routines and stuff. And I feel like there comes a point when you research it enough, you understand what it is that you need to do, but trying to do it is like the hardest goddamn thing ever. <laughs> it's like, you know that you need to obviously prepare yourself the night before. You know you need to go to bed earlier so that you can wake up earlier. You know that you need to unwind and leave your phone alone and stuff because that keeps you awake. Like when you're aware of all of these things, it's obvious that you just need to set your alarm go to sleep earlier and then get up earlier. But it's so much easier said than done. So the first thing I wanna say is that I feel like it's important to understand why you're doing this. Do you wanna do this because everyone does it? Do you wanna get up earlier because you feel like it's the like most productive thing? But is it most productive for you? Because I feel like a lot of people watch these online videos and people are like, oh my God, my 4 a.m. morning routine. And then people feel like they need to do that in order to be productive. But it's not gonna work for everyone and you have to know yourself and know why you wanna do something as to whether you're actually gonna benefit from getting up at four or five or six or whatever kind of time it is. So I think it's important to just know why you wanna do it and will it actually work for you? Cause you could wake up at four, but if it kind of like, if it doesn't benefit you in any way, like maybe it makes you grumpy and miserable and you don't function very well in the mornings. If you're more of a like afternoon kind of person, then maybe it's best for you to actually stick to the afternoon and find your productivity there, which really is a mindset. It's a case of like having to allow yourself to have your, oh, I just hit my lead, let that not, <laughs> it's gonna affect the microphone. Um, to let that not affect your mindset around productivity and the fact that you have the same amount of hours, you know. Something that benefited me was like, no matter what time I get up, I can still have those 12 hours because I can go to bed 12 hours later, if that makes sense. So like, if I woke up at six in the morning, I could stop at 6 p.m. But if I woke up at nine in the morning, I could stop at 9 p.m. and still get the same amount done, still have the same amount of hours, if that makes any sense. So I feel like it's a individual thing and you have to figure out what works best for you. Then once I realized what would work best for me and what kind of time would work best for me, how I then managed to actually implement it and stick with it is to Think about the things that you actually love to do, the things that excite you, the things that you really wanna include in your morning and evening routine. And I feel like I've mastered my morning, but I haven't mastered my evening yet. And I'm working on it by adding things that I actually enjoy and that actually benefit me. Because if you're not somebody that likes reading, then there's no point trying to force yourself to read until you're actually ready and willing and like feeling inspired to do that. If you're just forcing yourself and you're hating every second of it, then what's the point? You know, like you should find something else that you actually want to do. So if you prefer meditation, if you prefer yoga or weightlifting or whatever it may be that you actually like and try sticking to just that one thing first and then you can gradually add more things as you go. But like getting really consistent with one thing is something that's really worked for me because I used to try and jump and do everything all at once and then wonder why I could do it for one day and then the next day I was like, fuck this, this is just too much and too difficult because I was literally trying to force myself to do 10 million things all in one go and stick to all of them and it's just not, it's not something that your brain can wrap its head around, like it's just, no. <laughs> so just pick something that you actually like, 
something that you want to do in the morning when you wake up so then when you actually wake up you kind of feel a little bit excited about doing it even if you're a little bit tired and then the same for your evening routine pick something that you actually want to do so for a long time I wanted to read but I couldn't bring myself to do it. So instead of doing that, I'll do something else, something that's away from my phone and away from the distractions, something that will help me unwind, but that is something that I know I'll actually stick with. And then when you get consistent with that one thing, then I might add in reading later on because I feel a bit more like stable with it and comfortable because I've already got a slight routine, if that makes sense. And then I'll add gradually more and more things until I'm like good and don't need any more, you know, don't overcomplicate it by adding a million things. Even when you've nailed it, you don't need to have all of those things achieved. You can just do a few of them and alternate between them, whatever one you feel called towards, you know, it doesn't have to be doing every single thing every single day. You can pick a couple and switch between them. And then with the actual time, like if you're trying to change the time that you're getting up and you really want to lower it or whatever the case may be, I feel like the same with implementing one thing at a time, you should gradually get up earlier. And I know that's a common thing that people always say, but it really, really does work to just gradually decrease the time so that you actually stick to it and that your body gets used to it and everything. And also, obviously, you need to go to bed earlier as well. If you're trying to get up ridiculously early, you need to make sure you have enough sleep because I have tried it before where I would like go to bed at midnight and then try and get up at four to go to the gym. And it's like, are you stupid? <laughs> that is not going to work. You're not going to function. You're not going to perform well in the gym because you're literally tired as shit. What is the point? You know, it's not empowering. It's not exciting. It just feels like a chore. So you need to be able to allow yourself to have enough sleep, allow yourself to go to bed earlier and allow yourself to get up at whatever and allow yourself to get up at whatever time works best for you. I feel like there's a lot of stigma around needing to wake up earlier, but I don't agree with that. I wake up at like 9 a.m., sometimes 10 a.m. every day, and then I go to bed around midnight-ish. It depends. Sometimes earlier, sometimes later, depending on how tired I am. But like, that works for me because, and obviously not everyone can do that, but that works for me. And I feel like you have to find what works best for you based on your body and how you feel, your diet, because that will hugely impact it. And obviously your lifestyle and your um, job and school or whatever it is that you do every day, you need to be able to work it around that. So gradually allow yourself in little increments like 15 minutes half an hour increments to wake up slightly earlier each day and your body will start to get used to it and it will become a lot a lot easier another thing i also like to do actually is um sometimes when i wanted to really wake up earlier i would leave my curtains open slightly when i go to sleep because then i'll kind of wake up with the natural sunlight you know i know you can buy those clocks and everything but that's not real sunlight so i just leave my curtains open slightly and then the light comes through in the morning and then that kind of gradually wakes me up anyway. So that's another little trick that you could try. But really, we can just release the punishment. I don't feel like it needs to be something that's stressful. If you really want to get up earlier and everything and you really want to transform your body clock, then it should be an empowering thing and not a punishment. So if it feels like a punishment, then maybe you need to relieve the pressure a little bit and stop trying to force yourself and let yourself do it in baby steps because anything that like you want to last anything that you want to be sustainable and keep at and keep going with you need to enjoy it and you need to relieve the pressure of having to do it like it's a life or death situation because it's really not it's not the end of the world if you slip up so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out the description box below for all links to everything about me, my music, my phone number, because I send daily inspirational and spiritual thoughts and videos, my jewelry brand, Elemental Mirror, one-to-one -one sessions with me and my music and everything else about me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Slow down, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Slow down